Particle Shop by Corel Painter is a new plugin that's been available for a little while for Photoshop, but there's a new version out that really makes it easy to create some amazing effects on your images within Photoshop. So instead of needing to go into Corel Painter, uh, you can do some amazing effects. If you look here at my Rumpelstiltskin image, I've got some gold thread effects that would have been a lot harder to produce had I not had this plugin. Particularly up here, I've been able to paint with the Particle Shop plugin and create some really amazing effects, which I'm going to show you now. So this is the final image. I'm going to go back over here to the image before I painted on all of the gold thread, which you see in this image here. So after you've installed Particle Shop, you need to download it from Corel and install it. But then you can actually launch it now, the new version from Extensions. So you go to Window, Extensions and Particle Shop. It will bring up an icon over the side here if that's how you've got your view set up. Now when you go into Particle Shop, the options that it gives you are duplicate active layer, duplicate visible layer below and merge with active layer and use active layer. Now if you had all of your layers below, I've got a flattened version here of my file because this particular image is so large. If you had a whole lot of layers here, you would choose duplicate visible layers below and merge with active layer. And that will give you a new layer of all the images below. So all the, all the active layers below. So I'll click on that anyway, because it will duplicate my background layer so that I can work on it. And I will launch Particle Shop. When it opens this up, it says we recommend you create a copy of the selected layer. If you've selected that it duplicates, you don't need to worry about that. I'm going to click on do not show this message again. This was really crucial in previous versions of Particle Shop. You did need to duplicate that layer. I'll launch Particle Shop. When you first open it, it will show you a variety of different brushes that you can get as well. So just going through here, I have a lot of these brushes and I use them for this particular image. They're not installed on this computer. Uh, I did the previous work on my Wacom Cintiq Companion. So I'm going to install them now. So I'll get out of that. So I've got the package files here and if I want to install Dust and Debris, I can simply double click it. Now I will need to relaunch Particle Shop. So I'll close this here and go back to the install. And I'll just go through and install all of these particular brushes that I've got. So now that I've installed all my new brushes, I can go back into Particle Shop with exactly the same settings. Now that I'm in Particle Shop, I've got access to all of my new brushes. And what I decided to do when I was creating this was to find brushes that really replicated gold thread. So the first area that I can work on here is the gold in Rumpel's hand. Now there's quite a few options that might actually work for this. Um, if I go through the brushes that I've added here, I've got the starter pack with some pretty cool types of brushes dust and debris, fabric fantasy, fine art, flame, so if you want fire or something, fur of course works really well for hair, hair as well, light it up, so there's a few in here that work great for gold thread, I'll come back to those, smoke and steam, spaced out, again some great gold thread options there, storm and superhero. So if I go back to, first of all, the spaced out one, one of the ones that I did use was cluster. And what you can do is then you can choose the color that you're after. And of course, I want a gold type color and I can play around with how that looks. This cluster one, I can make smaller, I can make larger, I can make it react in different ways. So if I want a cluster of gold there, I could use this one. And the harder I press, the, the stronger it is, the softer I press, the softer it is. So it's a really powerful 
brush option. So I could very softly work around here and when I want it to be really obvious I can press harder. So using the Wacom graphics tablet is essential in using particle shop and brushes to make the most of them. If I just use my mouse, I'll switch over to my mouse now, it really doesn't give me any options apart from going slower. I can't press the brush down softer with my mouse whereas I can really have a lot of control with my graphics tablet. So I highly recommend a graphics tablet. So I'm going to click on revert because I don't want all of that crazy stuff happening there. So that one can work quite well. The other one I used was under light it up and electro. So I'll just show you how that one works. So going softer, create some interesting thread like effects. Pressing harder actually stops that outer thread effect. So each brush you use will react differently depending on how hard you press it, which direction. I spent quite a long time when I first got this installed just playing around and it's quite therapeutic actually, just playing around with the brushes to see what they do and how they operate. So again, I don't want all that gold all over, so we'll revert. I'm going to make this particular brush a lot smaller. So you can change all of your settings here. Make some adjustments to your flow and the size of your brush until it's doing exactly what it is that you want it to do. So for this instance, I actually want quite a thin thread and I want to follow along with the straw and then just have some sort of splatter out like this. I just build up and build up on my gold area there. So I want it to look like this gold is actually magical <laughs> and the best way to do that is to use something like particle shop. The other way that I did think of doing this and of course it would take a whole lot longer is to photograph the sparklers. So you know the sparklers that you light up and actually have them making sparkler lines in front of a black backdrop and photographing that on a slow shutter speed. And I will probably have to do that if I want to enter this in a competition. So at a later stage if I do decide to enter this, I can't unfortunately use any plugins due to the rules, which is a bit sad. Uh, so that's the way I'll have to go. But in the meantime, this has just done such a great job of creating the look that I'm after. So by merging different brushes and different effects, I can help with the realism of the actual scene. Okay, so let's zoom over here to our maiden and to the string she's holding. And I'm going to show you a few different options. So one of them could be the fairy lights. So that's one option there. Another option could be this electro one. And as I change the settings, creates a different look. So when I get up to this part of the string, this is before it turns to gold. So what I want is more of a rough sort of look. And I can go in and change the color to a straw like sort of color. And just paint it in until I feel it's giving me the look that I'm after. So again, it's about adjusting the flow adjusting the pressure, adjusting the size. Having a look here, I have drawn over the top of her hand a little bit. So what I need to do is when I get back into Photoshop, I can mask that bit out. It's important to remember that what you're creating here can be masked back. You can change opacity, you can change all the effects of what you're doing. So I am going to go back into Photoshop to show you just this part, how I can make changes to that in Photoshop once you've actually created it in Particle Shop. I still need to do the gold around the wheel, which I'll come back to. So let's hit save. What we want is save only brush strokes. We don't wanna do this. We don't wanna merge the brush strokes because 
that will not give us any option to change the opacity, change the blending modes and so forth. So we save only the brush strokes. So now we've got an extra layer here, which is totally independent of the file. And we can change opacity, we can change blending modes, we can do all sorts of things. Let's just have a look at this area here, this thread. So the first thing I want to do is mask out the part that is over her hands to make it look like the thread is going right into her hand. So I'll turn up my flow. I created a mask. Simple as that. I can mask it back if I mess it up. We want that thread going underneath her fingers. Can even add shadow to the thread. We can do anything that we would normally do in Photoshop to create more realism. So we would want some shadow on the thread here. So to do that, I'd create a levels adjustment layer. I would clip that to the thread itself. Add shadow by bringing the whites down. So taking the light away is how we do that. Inverting that. And then just painting in some shadow around the areas that are next to her hands. which creates more realism. We can also change blending modes on this. So we might go to soft light to light, perhaps hard light, overlays too strong. If we go to hard light, then bring down the opacity a little bit. That's one way of making it look more gold. I think in this instance, we just want it as normal. And we come up to doing the other gold areas, we can add overlay mode, we can add hard light mode and create more effects that way. The effects have actually taken place on this area as well um, but when I did it I created each layer as a separate layer so that I could add the different effects there. I can cut that out and separate it but at this point in time I'm just showing you how I did it so that you can see the end result of what can be achieved by using Particle Shop. So let's just go back into Particle Shop now. We're going to go to the topmost layer. So now we've got a few layers there. We want to add to this. So we go back to Particle Shop over here. We want to duplicate the visible layers below and merge with the active layer. Okay, so now we've got another canvas to work on to add to our other parts of gold. So we want to work around the wheel, the spinning wheel. And again, we'll choose something that will work. And I want a thinner kind of gold thread. So if I go to the cluster one, this is the one that I used to create that thread that's coming through as gold. So I need to change that color back to a more gold in tone and just follow the thread. So again, I would zoom up so that I've got more control. So something like that is much better. As I was saying before, the challenge of drawing a straight line is a little bit different than how you would do it in Photoshop. In Photoshop, I would click here in one spot, I'd hit shift, I'd click in the next spot and it would actually draw the straight line from one point to another. With, within Particle Shop, you can't do that, but you can draw by holding down shift. It actually does create a straight line, but it does it On these angles. So what I would recommend if you're needing to do a straight line and you want to have full control over your brush is to do one line at a time and then rotate it in Photoshop. So for example I would do this one, I'd find the start, I'd hold shift down, I'd draw it exactly as I want it, and then I would rotate it and move it to fit in Photoshop. So doing one at a time like that until I get it how I want it. Because every brush stroke is going to be different. Every time you hit it, it's going to create a different effect. So sometimes you might draw, undo, draw, undo until you get the look you want. Um, but say, say that's pretty close to what I want. I'd actually save that independently. Save 
I'd save that independently, save only the brush strokes. Go in now because I've got that one layer here and just move it and rotate it exactly how I want it. And then apply whatever effect that I want. So perhaps overlay or hard light again to give it more of that gold look. We tone it down a bit so it blends. And I do that with every single one. So now that I've got that one, I can once again launch Particle Shop, duplicate so that I've got all those layers underneath. Zoom up on here and do exactly the same thing, holding down shift, starting here and drawing. And as you can see, that line is going to either go down straight or across sideways. So that's pretty good. I'm happy with that line. I would again press save, save only the brush strokes, and then just rotate that again to where I want it. That way I've got an exact straight line from within Particle Shop. The next step is all of the thread around here that's turning into gold as well as the thread around the wheel. With the thread around the wheel it was a matter of just going in really closely and doing it slowly so I won't show you that but I will show you the thread here that I created. So once again we've got our thread here, here, all in a separate layer and we want something that looks like gold thread. Now we could use cluster, do something like that. Not too keen on that option though. So if we go back to Electro and play with the settings again. It actually doesn't matter that it's going over the top of the thread area because again what we can do is we can mask back. So the look that this is giving is like a wild kind of gold spinning out of control and if we hit save there's our wild gold. If I turn down the opacity so I can see where I'm working. Mask. And then just mask around so that the gold is behind the thread wheel. Mask any area out that we're not wanting. Play with the different blending modes. We can even play with the color of it. If we think it's too strong, you can bring down the brightness of the gold, add a black and white layer, adjustment layer. So it tones it down a little bit. And add some shadow again to the area that would be in shadow. So not the whole thing. We invert that and just paint back in some shadow around here. Tone it down a little. And as we zoom out, we can see the effect that it makes. So adding in segments is the best way to build on your scene rather than trying to do everything all in one hit in particle shop so you need to think about what sort of effects and what sort of changes you want to make to your paint strokes and then play with it further in photoshop so use the power of photoshop to refine your image and to refine your brush strokes. Use the power of Particle Shop to create really interesting and dynamic brush strokes that you can't do in Photoshop. So I'm excited to share this with you. I hope you like the finished version of Rumpelstiltskin. If you'd like to view the behind the scenes of creating this image, the link is in the details.